I'm such a pro, you guys. I've got four pennies here lifting up my phone to try to make it a little more straight. Is that a little more straight? Oh no, that made it too wonky. Okay, hold on. I think we just need three pennies. That'll have to work. All right, well, today's gonna be a fun day because I am headed right now to go pick up my amazing dream bookshelf. know about the rest of you guys but I kind of insta stalk people sometimes and when I first found form and function on Instagram I was looking for a coffee table that had Danish cord on it which is one of my husband's favorite things to look for and I found it through a hashtag which is just proof that hashtags do work obviously I had to follow them and I've been drooling over all of their amazing Scandinavian furniture ever since so last November I reached out to Chris and I let him know what I was was on the hunt for and it turns out that he had the exact bookshelf that I was looking for in a shipping container on its way so I had to be patient for it to arrive and today is finally the day that I get to go pick it up one of the things that I call my dad for all the time is to borrow his pickup truck so he was not surprised when I called him and said hey pops I need to borrow the truck for the day so we're gonna go pick up the bookshelf and then we're gonna head home and style it because I can't wait I'm just so excited about it and then we're gonna do our footstool makeover and then I'm gonna be sharing some updates on my office space and which wallpaper I picked. You guys might be mad at me for that one. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a little mini tour of the downstairs area in the new rental home. And then I'm going to show you a sneak peek at the closet tour that I just filmed at my previous house. I think today's going to be a fun day. I am ready. Let's go get the bookshelf. All right, we are back with the bookshelf. It's time to get this baby inside. I cannot wait to see how it looks in the new space. So the move has gone wonderful and the boys are doing so good. Lorenzo has been having a blast checking out all the different rooms. He's sat in every single window in this house. He's definitely feeling very comfortable. JP had a little bit harder of a time the first day or two, but he seems to be doing really good. They have a lot more space to play and more stairs to run up and down. So she's in her new home for the next couple weeks. I'm going to be putting her in my upstairs office slash film studio. And for the moment, I'm gonna have her here downstairs until I get my wallpaper put in. But I wanted to show you why I was so excited about this desk, because it's a desk. <laughs> it's not just a bookshelf. So it has a little sliding out compartment so I can use it for a desk and also for staging all of my beautiful little finds that I have found over the years. So let's get decorating. this I thought I was gonna bust this out without even having to rearrange and then I decided I wanted to go upstairs and add these incredible art deco horse candle holders and it really threw off my animal to pottery ratio I think I have too many critters I don't know if there's such a thing but I'm kind of feeling like the bold color is distracting I don't know I think that these babies are gonna have to just wait their turn in the cupboard below
today. So many of my vintage smalls are still back at the Vancouver house. This is just some of my favorites that I brought with me to see how it looked. It's so fun to see all of these finds come together on a beautiful bookshelf because if you guys have followed for a long time, you know that it's taken me years to collect all of these beautiful pieces. So it's so exciting to finally have the perfect bookshelf slash desk to display them on. I also wanted to give a shout out to Justina Blakeney at the Jungalo. Her book just came out this past week. And a lot of you guys ask me who inspires me and what designers do I follow? And she is by far my favorite. So this is her third book to come out. And as you can see, just by the covers, you don't even need to open them to understand why I love everything about her style. This is not sponsored. I am just a super fan girl. So much inspiration. And if you are like me and you're wanting to introduce more color into your home interiors, this book is for you. She talks a lot about her love of vintage, her love of color, and the history of kind of how she was inspired by a lot of things from her travels all over the world. Everything about her and her design is amazing. I will go ahead and link her book in the description, and you guys should definitely get one of these copies for your own home. The bookshelf is done for today, even though I know I'm gonna be rearranging this bookshelf non-stop, and I can't wait to share more of that with you guys. But now let's get rocking on the footstools. I got these two beauties at Goodwill last week. They were only $14.99 and I knew that these were going to be perfect to recover with some fabric that I already had back at home. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew these bottoms, recover the tops, screw it back down and boom, they're going to look completely different. All right, I am ready to get started on the footstools. Now these I got at Goodwill for only $14.99. I have two of them. And something that's really cool about these little footstools that was pointed out by some of you subscribers was that they can stack on top of each other. Got everything I need here. I've got the drill, which just makes it super easy to unscrew the back of that. And we've got the staple gun here. And I already had this from other projects that I've worked on in the past. It is a super handy tool. If you don't have one, I definitely think they are worth the investment. And then we have this incredible fabric. I purchased this off of shopgoodwill.com a few years ago. I believe it was only $40 for all of this fabric. And I also got the two grain sacks that you guys have seen me have on my master bedroom. I use those as pillows. This fabric is very durable, nice and thick, and it is so beautiful with all of the colors and the patterns. And I'm definitely trying to introduce more color into my home. So I think this is gonna be the perfect addition. What I would recommend if you have a square seat cover or footstool is to line up your design right in the center. So for instance, this one has a nice, beautiful diamond design. I would probably try to line that up there like this. Now on these stools, I wanna use the fabric that I had already cut for a pillow and leave all of this for a future project because this is all one piece right now. So my pattern is gonna be a little bit off, but that doesn't bother me. If you were super picky about this, definitely measure it out and even do a test dry fit before you cut the fabric just to make sure you're gonna be good to go. But I don't think that being off a little bit is gonna bother me in the slightest, so let's get working on it. You could see when you flip over the footstool that it has already been recovered several times. These are so easy to do. All you have to do is unscrew these little sections right here. Oh, wrong way. You can see right here, there appears to be maybe even the original was a yellow vinyl. So now I'm really curious and I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of this off. I was gonna leave it and just go over the top of it, but I really wanna see what's down there because what if I really like what's already there? What if the original is better? fabric off. Let's flip this over and see what we are working with. Oh, that's kind of cute, right? It seems to be in really good condition still. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to recover it because I'm so excited about that fabric and this just doesn't really work with my color palette. It is a little bit too 
warm of a yellow, it will really clash with my bright yellow goldish color chair. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and recover it, but I am gonna leave this original vinyl on here because it's in great condition. And just in case I ever pass these on to someone else and they wanna restore them back to the original, it'll still be there. And both of these fabric pieces are still in great condition and they are large enough to make a small throw pillow out of. So I will make sure to donate these back to Goodwill and hopefully somebody can repurpose these. Once you have all four of the outer edges pulled nice and tight and even, then you can take this interior corner and kind of wrap it down and pull it down like this. And what that does is it creates these matching folds on each side. You wanna make sure that you don't have one side tucked in and then the other one exposed. You want them to look identical on both sides. Here's a view from the top of how this will look. So you wanna make sure you pull this back right here so it's not exposed on that outside edge. And it kind of brings in this corner a little bit tighter. So you'll pull that back and give that a good staple. And then what's gonna happen is once you screw down the wood piece to the fabric it's really going to push this even tighter together there because the projects never seem to stop around here. This is in my studio slash office, and I'm going to be headed to Home Depot tonight to get some white paint for this wall. This is going to be perfect for showing you guys how to design and set up gallery walls. Promise, I really, really tried to go for option A. So many of you guys voted for option A, but it turns out that it was not peel and stick and I really wanted a removable peel and stick option. I think this is going to look beautiful in the studio space. Look at how vibrant the blue color is. The quality is really, really good and I cannot wait to get this installed. It's gonna be a little bit busy and dramatic, but honestly, that's what I'm going for with this space. And I think it's gonna look really, really good and complimentary of all of my different colors that I have and textures. I think it's gonna be so pretty. It looks great with the pops of green from the plants. I cannot wait to get this installed next week and I will show you guys exactly how I do it. Now it's time for a mini house tour. This is the rental home that we just moved into. So this is before we moved in all of our stuff. I'm gonna wait to show you guys everything staged beautifully before I give you the full reveal. So we're only gonna do two little projects downstairs since we are just renting temporarily. We're gonna do the fireplace with a temporary tile and we're going to do this chandelier here. We're gonna replace it with something that we have. Other than that, we are leaving everything else the way that it is. Everything is super clean and functional and everything we will need in a rental home while we look for our dream forever home. And don't worry, I've been filming the entire move. These boys had a little bit of a protest here. They did not want us to load those boxes up in the truck, but everything after that went smoothly. Jean-Pierre had a little bit of a hard time adjusting. You can see how slow and scared he is coming down the stairs for the first time. And then there's this dude, he had no problem at all. I am telling you friends, it is all about positive attitude. We had a blast moving. I know a lot of people can't believe that, but it went great and it's gonna be a great year.
Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did today. And I can't wait to share my next thrifting adventure with you. I'm taking you to a small town in Washington called Kalama. And I've been filming tons of new content at the Vancouver house and here at the new house. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.